I'm in the car about to set off on quite an epic journey on my drawing course for the next week in Wales. I can't draw yet. I'm going to take you along on the journey so you can see how it goes. Um, so I'm not going to do loads of like filming and vlogging of the actual thing because I think that will stop me kind of living in it but I did want to document it a little bit and partly so that anyone who might be thinking about going on this course in the future could get a little bit of a feel for what it's about. I think each day we're learning a different skill and day one was about the perception of edges um, which right away actually has made me start looking at things a little bit differently but before we even started thinking about edges um, we had to do like a pre-course task now if you've ever looked up the Betty Edwards drawing on the right side of the brain book or course which has been around for many many years um, you will have seen these amazing like before and after portraits um, where people draw themselves at the beginning of the course and then five days later at the end of the course they draw themselves again and this is done just purely as a record so you can see um, what progress you've made um, but it's also quite a lot of fun now this is probably the thing I was most worried about because it's fine trying to do something once you've been taught how to do it and even if you don't get it right but you've got some idea about how to even try and approach the task but for me sitting and staring at my face in the mirror which a makes me feel pretty bloody uncomfortable um, and then having to draw it when I don't know how I've never ever been taught how um, was quite hard um, and you know I, I yeah it's just, so there's a moment of Ugh, but then I just kind of got on with it and remembered that well you know what the worse this is then the better the before and after comparison will be so you know let's just roll with it and I, I did my best and um well uh, and when uh, Anna our course leader bought the pictures in afterwards she then gave them out so everybody could look at everybody else's pictures which again I think made us all go I don't know about this but again this has become a really important part of the course right from the beginning is actually being open in our learning and sharing our stuff with each other and also realizing that when you look through all the pictures so we looked through the 12 pictures including our own and you found and many people sort of said the same when you got your own you kind of were quite harsh and self-critical of your own picture but actually you looked at everyone else's far more inquisitively and you found the things you liked about it and um, the rest of the day was spent uh, looking at uh, so this perception of, of edges and shapes um, and Anna was teaching us to look for the spaces between things rather than just to see the things so um, we did a copying exercise um, where we took a uh, well-known uh, line drawing and we actually had to copy it very accurately using measurements and stuff um, but we copied it upside down and we were always looking for the shapes and the spaces so instead of thinking um, you know oh, I'm drawing a hand or a chair or a jacket you were just thinking okay that's a, a, a triangle and it's about you know this shape and this angle in relation to the next shape it's this um, and we worked through it and again we then all looked at each other's and we were able to discuss what we found difficult and easy um, and how we found the task. Um, I then went back in the evening and did another upside down drawing using a little bit more of what I'd learned since the first one um, and this was uh, of someone on a horse um, and actually um, I really enjoyed that. So now I'm going to talk about day two on the course which was really hard and according to our instructor Anna um, it is the hardest day it's the day when lots of people want to give up uh, and um, that was reassuring so I kind of came along because I wanted to enjoy it and have fun and I wanted to learn to enjoy the process of drawing I don't really care about being able to draw um, but yesterday um, was a day where it, at times it felt really frustrating we drew a picture of our own hand um, so we used a picture plane and we had to place this kind of perspex over our hand. I'll, I'll put together a bit of video to show you. We had to, to kind of hold a pose with our hand, show a foreshortened view, which is where you get like distorted because some of it's closer. So you'll see here that the fingers aren't exactly all the size you'd expect if you were to draw them because some are closer to you and some are further away. You essentially put a perspex over that um, and then we drew round it with felt pen and then we transferred that onto the page and used that as the beginning of our drawing for our hand. Um, and then uh, we learned how to add in the light and shade and that's of thing but we learned really the importance there about really carefully transferring across measurements so um, we didn't do what our brain was telling us to do we actually had to do what we knew were the correct measurements having literally transferred it onto the perspex and then across to the paper um, I found that tricky um, but okay I just had to keep checking myself and all my um, assumptions were wrong and um, we put all our pictures um, up uh, we're doing this for everything putting all our pictures up so we can see what everyone else did at the end um, and it was like whilst I could see lots of problems with mine I was quite proud that I produced something that you can tell it's a hand um, and also when I looked at everyone else's we'd all done something different and actually I really enjoyed hearing about everyone's hand and how the process was for them um, I was quite 
yeah, impressed that I was able to produce that. And it's not, you know, if you'd have shown me that a day and a half ago and said, you'll be able to draw that tomorrow, I wouldn't have thought I could. Um, in the afternoon, we then went on to do the task that made everyone want to cry, <laughs> which was we were drawing um, negative space. So we had to draw um, a chair or a stool. And then we had to draw the, the object by drawing the spaces rather than by drawing the object. And by doing that, we very carefully measuring and moving across from a small scale to a larger scale, um, which was all very hard. Um, and I think it's fair to say I totally cocked it up. Up. Um, I just I don't really know what it was about it that went wrong for me um, I was getting the angles wrong and the side anyway anyway I, I tried and um, kind of got to a point where I felt I was at a point of no return where I was absolutely gonna have to start again and I'd already started twice um, but we were also quite a long way into the task um, and there wasn't gonna be an opportunity to carry it on in the evening because the room had to be reset out so I was kind of slightly panicking, I was like, it's fine, I'm going to go away, I'm going to have a walk, maybe have a cry. I didn't have a cry, but I felt like having a cry. I was really frustrated, I feeling like, I can't do this, I don't know why I can't do this. Everyone else was drawing away happily, and I thought, I'm the only person here who's struggling with this, what's wrong with me? And really loads of negative self-talk. Went outside, it's amazing, the scenery's beautiful, took five. Also then, a couple of other people came out and I discovered that um, they weren't enjoying it either. They also were finding it really hard. They also wanted to cry um, and felt they weren't doing it at all, even though I'd looked over and they seemed to be doing really well. So I realized um, I was not alone in how I felt. Um, then I went in and I actually asked the teacher to help me and she, she helped me get back on track. So she actually doesn't like to draw on our drawings, but I was like, I, I, can't, I can't fix it. So she helped me to work out a little bit where I'd gone wrong with the angles um, and plotted some of the major kind of points of the chair to get me back on track. I was then able to fill it, fill in the rest of the spaces myself. Um, and I had something that resembled a chair that wasn't entirely distorted. It looked like you could sit on it. And then I really enjoyed the process of beginning to add in the light and shade. Now I didn't finish this as much as I would have liked to. I, I, you know, I got, I got close to finishing and I felt actually there was an immense sense of pride having gone through that real frustration to then asking for help, which isn't historically something I've always been good at, so asking for help and then creating something that in the end, something that was okay. And that's a really, really important learning for me, I think. So yesterday was day three of the course and it was hard. Actually, it's all been really hard. Um, not in a bad way. I really like being challenged and actually having to go back to the beginning and feel like a beginner again and really work hard has been um, incredibly good for me. And um, the other thing is that normally I'm the teacher rather than the one being taught and realizing how tiring it is learning new stuff and how much chance you need to put things into place and how sometimes just a bit of quiet and contemplation is okay and things need repeating. I'm learning a lot about teaching from being taught, let's put it like that. Anyway, so yeah, it was hard work. Um, but it was good. We were learning about our perspective and how to make things shrink into the distance and the angles that things are at and the fact that we're often wrong when we think what's going to happen. Um, so we, we learned a bit about the theory of that um, and we learned how to put down the marks on a page if we were going to draw kind of we, we were learning to draw like a structural picture so we were looking at lots of people were looking at the corners of rooms. I was looking at the corner of a building from the outside um, and then drawing that and it was a really interesting exercise being we were being quite methodical like plotting the image that we could see onto the page uh, which we've done throughout been quite methodical um, and you had to kind of we were told you know measure or, or check twice draw once um, and I was more like check 10 times draw once rub it out draw again sort of thing but I got there in the end um, and I, I found that and your brain really plays tricks on you. So when you're looking at something, you think you know what's happening. Like in particular, I was drawing um, a building and I thought I could see what's happening with the roof sloping, sloping away into the distance. I thought the angle was something like this. And actually when I drew it, it was something like this and it just looked really wrong when I first plotted it. But when I kind of got all my points down and I drew the whole thing and I shaded it in, I mean, it was a strange looking drawing. But then when I looked at the actual thing I was drawing, it just was a bit strange. I'm getting more confident in my drawings, so I stayed on again last night and I did a couple more drawings. Um, on day two, we'd used uh, lots of lighting and a couple of those lights were quite like old lights and they were lying around and um, I thought they were interesting to draw. So I, I drew each of those and I, I consciously did each of them in less than an hour because I wanted to try and push myself through to draw quite quickly. I was able to get something that resembled the thing it was meant to be. Yesterday was day four and it was 
a lot of fun. So we were really beginning to consolidate the skills that we've learned over the beginning days and we did that by drawing a profile portrait, so a Cylon portrait like this, uh, of a classmate. Um, it was, it was interesting the way that the classroom had to be set out very precisely because we were a group of 12 and basically we were sat in kind of groups of four with, you know, this person drawing this person, this person drawing this person, this. It was very confusing to describe, um, but it worked. Um, and at any given time, one, uh, two people in the group of four would be drawing and two people would be posing uh, and then you would switch over. Um, one of the most interesting things about that, actually, just as an aside, um, was how it made you question your concept of time. When you were drawing, um, the time went by in no time at all. Um, and then the timer would go and she did set a timer to make sure it was fair. The timer would go after 20 minutes and you'd feel like you'd been drawing for no time at all. And then it would be your turn to pose for the person drawing you. And the next 20 minutes would feel like days like ice ages occurred it felt very very slow i learned as much in those 20 minute pauses um which really made you really stop and think about what you were drawing then yeah by the end of that 20 minutes suddenly um you'd be full of ideas you almost wouldn't know where to start because you had so much that you needed to do it was really interesting so the very initial stage of just getting this very basic outline of the profile face was was slow um, it felt frustrating, it felt like you were never going to get it right and it was really difficult to relate that to what was in your head and what you thought you could see in front of you but as you then began to add, add the light and the shade and the texture and the negative spaces and all that kind of thing it then began to come to life. I was drawing a guy called Mike who had um, bright white hair which I found beautiful. I hadn't noticed his hair um, until I was staring at it intently and it was just beautiful. I became really fascinated by his hair and I heard other people say similarly, oh I got really taken by my model's forehead or their nose, you know, they really like the shape of it and the angles of it. It just made you really appreciate people in a different way I guess. Back in, uh, one of the other uh, delegates had kindly let me take a profile picture of him so I drew him and I actually this time instead of having all afternoon to do it I just gave myself an hour and just said look you're just gonna do what you can in an hour. I learned something doing it um, and I enjoyed doing it and yeah so yeah I'm gonna try and draw every day, draw every day. So I came here five days ago and I couldn't draw five days later and I can like I've got so much more to learn and I'm really excited about practicing and learning and developing my skills but I can actually draw um, and that's pretty cool.